it's Rochelle. Today I want to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I have learned about getting creases and bubbles out of your nail wraps. So today I am going to do this beautiful new fall sneak peek wrap from my style box. I'm going to do that. It's also on our sample pack too. I already have this one done. So I'm going to first what you do is wash your hands really good with Dawn dish soap and then go ahead and buff your nail like so. Take some alcohol and a cotton ball and get any of the excess oils off of your nail and off of your finger because we don't want any oil to touch the adhesive part of our nail wrap orange stick wrap. I either cut it in half or I just do the whole wrap like this. Heat up the one side that I'm going to use for this finger. Warm it up about five, six seconds until it curves like so. We're going to apply it gently to the nail like so. And I'm going to pressure, 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 pressure. You can either use your finger, like I am here, or you can use your rubber cuticle pressure. This comes in our handy dandy application kit. And push, push, push. Lots of pressure. Lots and lots of pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and cut so I have some room to work with. because I like the pull and stretch method. So, there's my wrap. And see all this little extra that I have here? So, what I do is I go ahead and heat it again with my handy dandy mini heater. <laughs> all right, and then this is the pull and stretch method. This helps get any creases around the edges or bubbles or what have you out of your wraps. Perfect, right? Perfect. So, we're going to go ahead and cut. I'm not meaning to flick you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead and cut the nail wrap. There's a little bit left. So I'm going to file off afterwards. Also, what you can do, a lot of people find very helpful is to put your finger in a plastic baggie, like so, and heat it up. And it causes like a shrink wrap kind of effect on the nail wrap. See? And that gives it a nice seal, nice seal around the tip. It helps with lifting tips. See how it bent down? It'd be great when we go ahead and take our file and get the excess off. Also, another trick, turn that heater off, another trick is flat iron tweezers. Heat one side of your tweezers on the flat iron for a couple seconds because it gets really hot quick. And go all around the edges of your wrap with the heated tweezer and it causes it to seal even more. And you can do this actually days down the road if you have any creases or bubbles. Go ahead, warm up your tweezers with your flat iron and get that bubble or crease out and it will work. So those are my tips for any bubbles or creases. Also, with our new True Shine gel kit coming out September 1st, I have heard that it is amazing for anybody that may have creases or bubbles in their wraps. Especially if you have curvy nails, that coat of base coat of the gel and the top coat gel, it, may, it makes such a beautiful seal on the nail wrap that you won't have to worry about your wraps lifting or anything. It's amazing. I am super excited for the gel kit to come out. So, I hope this video was helpful. 
Um, sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained. <laughs> I'm not used to making these videos often. Uh, I hope that if you have any questions, you will ask me and I will do my best to answer them. Have a good one. Bye.